Yeah. 
Lord is doing, what the Lord will do. Praise God. Welcome home, Laban. Welcome home, Laban. Welcome home, Andy. Welcome home, children. The children that are living now 
our children of this generation prior to the coming of Christ. If you are there during the beginning of Christ rule as Lord and Master in Jerusalem in the thousand years that he will reign in Revelations, the book of Revelations, um, Revelations 20, you then will be a child of the millennium. Yes. These people now, they're, I saw a thing where uh, one of the political figures that they're wooing the children of the millennium. How can they be wooing the children of the millennium when they're not here yet? They're trying to woo this present political generation. But there is a millennium, 1,000 years. The ruling of Christ. He will be in Jerusalem. God himself will wipe away their tears. There shall be no more pain, tears, crying, death. The millennium. Christ in his kingdom. Now we're getting ready for that. We're preparing for that. We that have vision. We that have understanding. Yes. We that know prophecy. Yes. We that know revelations. We that know the coming of Christ. We're not fooling our time away in this present age. We will not let this plague take hold of us. Yeah. No. I will not. No. Uh, I told my wife, uh, was it last night or yesterday or something, was it? I, I woke up this morning with depression trying to attack me. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I said no more to her. But she knows what I do with depression. My mother was a depressive person. Uh, it, it led her to psychiatric problems. In my short years with her, I knew her in that manner. A depressive person. That's in our generation. That's in our scene. Yes. It affected our whole uh, generation. But you know how you deal with depression? Depression is a result of the fallout of the human nature of sin. Amen. And sin in the garden started what we call psychiatric depression. Uh, it, it's in your mind. That's why the scripture said, let this mind be in you. 2, isn't it? Or Philippians from Philippians 2 and 6, isn't it? Yes. Let this mind, but let this mind. And then Isaiah, what is that in Isaiah? Is that 30 and 26 or something like that? He will, no, that's not 30 and 26. But he will keep him, 26 and 4. Uh, Isaiah 26 and 4 is a free. But he will keep him in perfect peace. He will keep him in perfect peace. Isaiah the prophet Yes. If you don't believe a prophet, who will you believe? If you can't believe a prophet, who will you believe? He will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Because depression is a major enemy of our age, our time, and of the church right now. I was in the church 70 years ago. We didn't deal with depression like we're dealing with it now. We pastors have pastored churches. Am I right in this? We didn't deal with that enemy as it is today. But it's it's a plague. You're battling it. Some of you are battling it. You came in here battling it. You fought it this week. Why don't you have a cleansing? Why doesn't the whole church step into the blood? You say, but Brother Marlowe, uh, my problems are too great, my issues. And some of you have major issues. Major problems. You've been doing this up. Talking to me about them last night. That, that's major issues. Look, the only remedy for a plague of sin is Jesus Christ. That's the only remedy for a nervous, frustrated spirit is Jesus Christ. Yes. The only remedy for people who are thinking a doctor is finally going to give them a cure for their problem. Even when they get all the medicine the doctor can give, even when they get all the rewards of whatever they're seeking, they will still be dealing with self. They'll still be dealing with depression. That's why figures like Elvis Presley, who had everything, fame, money, wealth, 
McLean died simply from drugs prescribed by a medical source at 40 some years of age. Washed up, washed up. But I'm telling you, he will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind has stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Let this mind be in you, which also is in Christ Jesus. So yesterday, when I felt that depressive spirit coming over me, I began to reprove it. I began to read the scriptures. I began to take my spiritual medicine. Yes. My spiritual antibiotic, as I said last night. I began to fight. Yes. And today I feel enthused. I feel lifted up. I feel clear. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to be a Christian. Why wouldn't we be happy to be children of God? Can anybody think of a greater reward in here than to be God's child today? Let's give him a shout of praise. Your sickness, as I told Nani, is only for a time. Jan, you will get out of that chair. God is going to heal your joints, your body. I'm going to Brother Marty, you're going to have egg all over your face, brother. You're standing up there saying this about that lady there has been ill several years. No, no. I told Maria she's going to return from her, 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 her condition. Praise the name of the Lord. We cannot be timid. We cannot be weak. We can say, I will conquer all things. Are you hearing me right now? Amen. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Than conquerors. Through Christ, who loved us. But it looks dark. My family's in trouble. My daughter, my son, my children, my cousins, my sisters, my family. We're in trouble. But it won't always be that way. Because there is a God. Daniel said there is a God. Praise the I said there is a God. Amen. Now, quickly. Let's not let time get away. But in, in Luke, the 14th chapter, uh, starting with the 16th verse, a certain man, and you'll read this through many of the scriptures, a certain man. A certain man is God, Jehovah God, Jehovah God. Made a great supper. This is a parable. And bade many and sent his servant. I want you to notice that servant, the servant. There is one servant that, he, that Abraham had yes, sir. and one servant only that he trusted to secure a bride for his son Isaac. His name was what? Eliezer. His name was Eliezer. And he trusted that servant. There's only one servant in the household of creation of God that he trusts to do the intimate bidding and the ultimate bidding for his son and for himself as Jehovah God. And that is the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. No one else. He doesn't trust Gabriel. He doesn't trust any of the angels. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> does whatever God wants done yes. in the earth. Yes, sir. Yes. The Holy Spirit, Amen. the Holy Ghost, the very gift that you have in your life, in your heart. Amen. So should I fear that God is not going to build the church again? No. no. Should I fear that the rock is still there and the gates of hell are not going to prevail against it? No. no. Should I fear there won't be a coming of Christ? No. no. Should I fear there won't be a bride made ready? No. No, because his servant, the Holy Spirit, is in your life. And I, I believe in angels. I believe they're messengers and they're servants of God, but not the servant that God trusts to do his work. There's a servant in this house today. You say, Brother Marlowe, but 
We're servants, but we're not that kind of servant. We're intimate friends with Christ. Because he said, I don't let a servant uh, know what is the, the Lord, what his Lord doeth. But this servant knows what the command of God is. Now look, he said, and he sent his servant at supper time. Yes, supper time. To say to them that were bidden, come, for all things are now ready. Now supper time. That's the last meal of the day, isn't it? Yes, yes. The breakfast has come, the dinner has come, and now supper time. Now supper. I believe that the breakfast time with the Garden of Eden. I believe the dinner time was the day of Pentecost. And those feasts were given of God. The creation of man, the perfect perfection of the garden, the upper room, the glory of God. But now, it's late in the day. It's late in time. It's late in the experience of man. It's late in the hour of the church. It's supper time. Wasn't there a gospel song written, Come Home at Supper Time? Well, they were right. It's supper time. It's the last.